Let's compare two very large numbers, 3 to the power 99 factorial and the factorial of 3 to the power 99. They look almost the same, but these two expressions grow in very different ways, and by the end, we'll clearly see which one is larger. First, a quick reminder of what a factorial actually is. 99 factorial means multiplying every whole number from 99 all the way down to 1. This idea of a long product is what we'll use to compare the two expressions. There's a basic exponent rule that says, if you raise a number to a product, you can rewrite it as a power raised to another power. Let's look at 3 to the power 99 factorial. Using the rule, and the fact that 99 factorial equals 99 times 98 factorial, we can rewrite this expression as 3 to the power 99 raised to the power 98 factorial. So instead of one massive exponent, we now have a very large base and a very large exponent. That rewrite is the key step. Now let's look at the factorial of 3 to the power 99. By definition, this means multiplying every whole number, starting from 1 all the way up to 3 to the power 99. So it's 1 times 2 times 3, and so on, until we reach 3 to the power 99. That means this factorial contains exactly 3 to the power 99 terms. And none of those numbers, 1, 2, 3, so on and so on, is larger than 3 to the power 99 itself. And each term is less than or equal to 3 to the power 99. Here's a useful observation. Since every factor in this factorial is at most 3 to the power 99, the entire product must be smaller than what we'd get if every factor were equal to 3 to the power 99. So we can say that the factorial of 3 to the power 99 is less than 3 to the power 99, raised to the power 3 to the power 99. This gives us a clean upper bound and puts both expressions in a comparable form. Now, one expression is raised to 98 factorial and the other is raised to 3 to the power 99. Both expressions have the same base. The problem now comes down to comparing both the exponents 98 factorial with 3 to the power 99. Let's think about these two. 98 factorial is the product of all numbers from 98 to 1. This has a total of 98 terms. Meanwhile, 3 to the power 99 is just multiplying 3's 99 times. To ensure that the expression has equal terms, we multiply two factors and reduce the factors to 98 terms. Then we cancel out any common factors found among the two expressions. Because of those much larger factors, 98 factorial is greater than 3 to the power 99. That means 3 to the power 99 raised to the power 98 factorial is greater than the factorial of 3 to the power 99. So the final answer is 3 to the power 99 factorial is larger. Putting the factorial in the exponent makes the number grow much faster. Here is a general comparison that often appears in problems involving exponentials and factorials. The first step is to rewrite both expressions so they share the same base. Once the bases match, the size of the numbers depends entirely on their exponents. A factorial like n factorial grows extremely fast because it multiplies many increasing numbers together. As n becomes larger, this growth quickly dominates expressions built from repeated powers. So when the base is greater than 1, placing the factorial inside the exponent produces a much larger value. That is why, in general, a to the power n factorial is larger than the factorial of a to the power n. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more interesting math solutions.